All right, so remember back in strings, we're going to talk about numbers now. Remember in strings when you could go, yo, and then dot, dot, bruh? That dot, dot is actually what's called an operator. Operators allow you to operate on types. So we can operate on string types and add them together using this operator. It takes the thing on the left, takes the thing on the right, and smushes them together. If you've done any school up, I don't know, what, third grade, first grade? You've probably done addition, right? So we can take one plus one. Plus is an operator too. They have a bunch of operators. Think of operators like a magic global that we've talked about before, where it's available everywhere. It's magic. It's just like air. It's just there. You can use it. Well, operators are very similar, but they expect things to the left and right of them. That's how they work. So print expects things inside its parentheses, where operators usually want something to the left and something to the right. So we're going to do one plus one, and hopefully it works like it did in school. Cool, two, fantastic, okay. And there's other things you can do. You can do one minus one. So there's other operators. Say yes. We're going to run this guy. And it's zero. Okay, so far so good. They even have a multiplication. So two times ten. So times, in this instance, is a little star. It's probably above the eight on your keyboard. Just hold shift. And that's how you do multiplication. So whenever you're doing math in your game, whether it's money or whether it's damage to an enemy or anything like that, these are the operators you're going to use to do basic math. And it supports floats. So although you might come from a language that separates integers from floats or decimals, right, like 10.2, you can use them interchangeably. Lua is extremely flexible. So we're going to do 2 times 10.2, or the decimal, and it'll multiply it for you with the normal answer. That's how you do basic operator math with all your numbers and integers. If you try to do that with a string, it's going to get mad. So it's expecting a number type. So you can't do two times cow, for example.